Hey, I'm also known as Bog. Thanks for checking out what's in my long box, and uh, we'll get into it. If you guys like the music, that is my good friend Hi-Fi Music's brand new song. He has a brand new channel. Link will be in the description if you uh, like and subscribe to his channel. It's an extra entry in the monthly subscriber celebration giveaway. We'll get into details on that later on. Let's start off with Star Wars Beckett, issue number one. I can't remember if this is the regular cover or variant, but I just like the art. I like Beckett uh, in uh, in uh, Star Wars Solo. I thought he did a good job, and uh, it's a good book. Nice pickup, I like. Oh, and Pearl, number one, from Bendis. Um, this is the Malie variant, or maybe it is just the regular cover. I'm not sure. But uh, it's uh, I had to pick it up just because I like Alex Malie's work a lot. And we've got the flash, the button, which is a lenticular, I think, yeah, let's see if we can, can't, oh yeah, yeah, he like, you can kind of see the effect, yeah, there it is, blowing his costume away, and of course, Batman, the button, also lenticular, Batman, flash, cover, which is cool, the Watchman button I like, up. Oh. Nice, and Star Wars Adventures, Tales from Vader's Castle, issue number one. We've got Kanan, Chopper, and Hera on the cover. Um, but uh, what's really cool for this one, I actually got the Fravelli covers, which uh, I got the whole set, and he did some really cool covers on these guys. So we got issues one, two, three, Four and issue number five, which is an awesome cover with Vader's castle there. All right, up oh, and on natural, uh, I picked that up just because I thought it was a little while it was on the stands and kind of surprised it hadn't been banned yet. And it has quite a bit of potential for banning in the future from haters, so potential for a good book, maybe a lower print run. And of course, uh, Mirka and stuff has been going nuts. So, on natural number 12. Okay, and White Lilies, issue one and number two. You'll see that is signed by creator Preston Poltier. Who, you know, as a creator, you know, I thought this was an interesting set uh, story. It's the first Russian fighter pilots, female fighter pilots or something. Uh, he potentially has been trying to work on a screenplay. I guess it was a screenplay he turned into a comic. And the artist who was working on the series actually passed away after issue two was uh, coming out. And so I thought it was a good opportunity to get some of his work since there's not too much of it out there. Uh, we've got Star Wars Galaxy's Edge issue number five finishing up that set. I think we saw that in one of the last videos here. And Star Wars TIE Fighter issue number five. Very cool cover there. Like that. Those classic covers are good. Oh, we got uh, Ben Timblesmith, Wormwood, Joman Corpse. Uh, Mr. Wormwood goes to Washington. And uh, I met Timblesmith at a uh, con, and he signed a bunch of stuff and was a real nice guy, and I've been picking up a lot of his stuff ever since. So I did get the full set there, and I also got the uh, Wormwood one-shot for Christmas, which is a pretty creepy cover. <laughs> uh, flavor issue one. Um, it's kind of a cool concept is why I picked that up um, but uh, not the biggest fan of the art style uh, it's just for some people but not for me but uh, I think it was a popular book when it dropped and pff, I don't even know M C M L X X V. I don't know what that is in Roman numerals maybe 2000 I don't know I really can't remember issue number one a uh, kind of a cool cover uh, Joe Casey uh, doing the writing on that one. Ooh, this is a cool cover. And this one, here, let's see. We'll go like this. Is one that, um, originally I tried to order, uh, through solicits from my LCS. So they told, they said, ah, oh, it's an incentive. We're not going to order enough copies to get that. And then on free comic book day, I was walking around and I happened to see this on the shelf and they just had it out there as a regular price variant. Just regular cover price and so i was pretty excited to pick that one up 
Um, and then this guy here, we may have actually seen this on the channel before. I pulled this from a Marvel mystery pack. And I've seen a lot of people trash in mystery packs, and I just wanted to highlight this guy because um, when I pulled it, I was like, oh, that's cool because it's a wraparound cover, it's 3D, it's a little weird title, Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters, kind of a plan, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, obviously. But it's issue number one, and uh, just recently this issue's been growing in popularity, it's been doing pretty well, and graded copies have been selling for over $100, which is wild. And so I just wanted to show that I did get this guy from a $30 mystery pack from Mile High Comics. So it's not all just dollar bin stuff, but you might still find something fun. Anyways, uh, let's learn a little bit more about the giveaway real quick. And for August, I'm giving away a very cool set of uh, Marvel action figure variants uh, for the Heroes Reborn and Heroes Return series. And so it's an eight comic set. We've got uh, Hyperion, Power Princess, Blur, Dr. Spectrum, Nighthawk, Classic Thor, original I guess, Captain America Fallen Super Soldier, and Ronin, which is T'Challa, and you can see that uh, right there. So, that's the set we're going to give away for August. If you're a subscriber, you're entered. Uh, you can get an extra entry by subscribing to my channel Pros and Cons. And you can get a third entry now for subscribing to my Pros and Cons co-host, Captain Mintix's uh, other channel, Everything Has History. All those links are in the description. You guys